Hi everyone, this is Screen Guard Guy. Welcome to another Dota commentary. Today's game is going to be coming to us from the MSI Iran, if I'm not mistaken. Although I see ESWC over here. It's going to be between Scenario as well as HOT. It is an all pick. Uh, now both these teams are from Iran and I'm not too familiar with Middle Eastern Dota. I'm not sure if anybody is. I'm just going to introduce the players. Well, so I'm hoping to become something of an expert at them. Uh, I'm just going to unpause, actually. There's no need to pause it up. Uh, going to be Hunter playing the Akasha. There's MFI onto the... Or just MF onto the... Uh, MFJ? MF on the Undying. It's going to be Zero playing that Naga Siren. Lynx will be going onto the Darkseer. And PHTM is going to be going on that Ancient Apparition. They're all heading towards the top. Looks like we have a bit more of a pushing lineup. Fate's going to be playing the Chun. Uh, Lashrak playing the FLS... Going to be played by FLSKER. Flesker. Going to be solo. Going to go mid, uh, appropriately enough, for the mid solo. It's going to be Ono. Going to be playing that Enigma. And it will be Shinsei. Going to be playing the Juggernaut. Now, uh, notice what I talk about when I say pushing. Check it. We've got three of the most powerful and the most famous pushers in history. Chen, of course, with those creeps. Lashrak, Diabolic Edict. Uh, as well as the Enigma with those Eidolons. They do push. Perhaps not as well as Broodmother's uh, Broodlings, but... They're, they're forced to be reckoned with, as I believe Yonera's about to be caught out, but he has that Blade Fury, should be just fine. Uh, meantime, Dragonite also himself not a bad pusher with the Dragon Form. You've also got Healing, uh, sorry, Healing Ward, which allows you to push oh so much faster. Blade Fury also helps with clearing the Creep Wave. I'm not expecting this game to go long if things go the HOT way. On the other hand, what do we have coming in from Scenario? Scenario... Very, very much a late game sort of idea, uh, but they do have a lot of ganky potential. Net's going to be coming in. I think they want to capitalize on that as opposed to going for the late game with the Naga Siren. And looks like there's going to be a bit of a fight here with the Darks here. It's going to take a lot of harass, no Dragon Tail on him, so no death, no kill. Uh, it's going to be fine. Uh, certainly with the Akasha, she's going to be jumping in and out. You know, Ion Shell to help you win the lane. We're going to see Darks here mid. No, he's going to be going to the worst the bottom. Uh, Queen of Pain will be sitting on that mid lane. So a very, very standard lane so far. It's going to be tri-lane up top. Not to say they do still that uh, they do like the tri-lane. I do like to talk about it. Uh, you've got some great slow potential coming in with that tombstone. Some great ganks and kill potential going on that your narrow. Uh, he's not the tankiest of heroes. Let's just check out what his build is. It's okay, I guess. Uh, the three tangos. Some, a lot of regen. Uh, if the Sentinel are good with it and they can bait out a good... Battle Fury, they should be able to take him down. If not, they should definitely at least be able to win the lane for the Naga Siren. As I see some reinforcement coming in from this Lishrak, going to be doing a bit of a pull. Really do want your Lishrak, your tormented soul, to get uh, uh, quite a bit of levels. Uh, and certainly a bit of gold. As uh, some creep janky is going to go on. Anyway, let's just check out the mid lane. Who's going to be winning here? Shadow Strike's going to be skilled. So just a little bit of uh, harass uh, going to be going off onto the... Uh, Dragon Knight, he should be just fine if he's getting a bottle. Uh, he does have Dragon's Blood. He hasn't skilled it yet, but he will be skilling it, I'm assuming. Apologies. In which case, we're, he's more than tanky enough to take uh, a Shadow Strike. Uh, certainly, with that bottle, he'll be able to regen up uh, just as well as a Queen of Pain. Let's check out the Unera. I wonder where this Unera can get far. Sorry, apologies, I'm seeming a little bit down. We're supposed to be doing a cast with Lumi today, but unfortunately he's uh, not feeling very, very well. Uh, it looks like Chun has gone into the jungle, so I'm a little bit aww, because he's luminous. But don't worry, I'll catch him next time, guys, and I'll be sure to bring it, you uh, at least one or two games with him in the future, depending how my internet does. I was also supposed to do a cast, sort of a podcast thing with Diamond, but fortunately, that didn't pan out. So there's like my two idols, and of course, Fire Breath for Harass. How could I have forgotten that? Going to be going a quick blink in. Actually, very, very, very low. So when I said, you know, Dragonite's going to be A-OK, -okay, uh, I may have been exaggerating it a little bit. But here comes Chun uh, for, to definitely just to back him up. And if they want, they could probably not get a kill. Uh, Queen of Pain with that blink, even if it's only skilled to level 1, is still quite a menace, uh, nuisance to deal with. No, actually, they don't have any good heroes to do a gank. Uh, maybe the Lashrak came down and hit, like, the best split earth you've ever seen. They immediately followed up with the Dragon Tail. Plus the Diabolic Edict, they could do it. Uh, it's a bit iffy, though. And certainly, uh, Lashrak missing from the map is not something that Queen of Pain wouldn't notice, as I say that. There it goes. A big go actually went onto the Queen of Pain. She did end up leaving very low, but only a Wildkin. You're not going to be able to get a kill with that. 
Maybe with a centaur stomp. No, that centaur stomp really doesn't last. Uh, nets, perhaps, from the uh, tr the troll warlord. Uh, troll warlord. I said that really, really funny. Anyway, we're gonna be seeing level three against level two. Uh, it's to be expected when he's pretty much taking all the experience. The Shrek's standing a good, good way back. Also, keep in mind melee heroes do advance slightly more than ranged heroes, but of course Naga Science also a melee, so it doesn't really matter as much. Just saying. Just keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at the supports. Uh, but you still take the same share of EXP. I, sh I feel I should point that out. Like, Lashrak would still take the same share of EXP as, let's say, a Rogue Knight or a Dragon Knight. Uh, he just doesn't get as much, if that makes sense. Go look up the, the EXP page on, like, Play Dota and have a, have a read-through. It really does make a lot of sense. Meanwhile, up top, actually, it's good job keeping the, uh, the lane pushed all the way to here. You don't want the lane to be like over here to farm, otherwise again it could come off. I mean it's not such a big hassle if you have a tri lane because technically you tend to be very defensive and these guys are all in great shape in terms of their HP. But uh, when, but yeah, for your own game. And keep in mind, especially with the pulls coming off, it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn strong, shall I say. Wow, I'm having a tough time doing this cast. Anyway, let's check out who's going to be winning level 5 against level 5. And keep in mind, Enigma is a ranged hero, so he is getting a little bit less of the share of the EXP. What do I want to happen? I want to see uh, the Scourge, the, yeah, Sentinel, going a little bit more aggressive, because at the moment, they are so passive. And it's not true that they'll win in the late game, but the second like Chun starts getting his levels, and he starts getting his creep army, uh, the second Enigma hits like 6, let's say, they're going to start pushing, and they will mow you down. They These guys are guys who will eat your towers. I mean, you're leaving Dragon Knight to free farm. <sighs> Queen of Pain has not, like, gotten sufficient level. I mean, she may be able to, uh, maybe, maybe not get a solo kill. How many levels of Dragon Blood have you got? One. Well, it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of ma it's magical damage. And I don't want to miss the first blood. So let's just keep the camera up here. As these guys carefully, slowly, but surely get a ton of farm. What I do want to see is, of course, the Sentinel being a little bit more aggressive, trying to push that advantage, trying not to let the Chen get his... Because there is a definite mid-game advantage for the Scourge, so trying not to let them get into that zone comfortably. By the time they're in their mid-game phase, you're in your late-game phase, or, you know, you have at least enough firepower to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Uh, certainly in terms of team fights, you know, the Sentinel don't have it bad, and there it is, First Blood, going to be going on to the Queen of Pain, a uh, combination of the Dragon Tail as well as that... Breath of Fire, just bring it down. In the meantime, there's a bit of an engage. Black hole for one, but there's no follow-up. Oh, man, that is, that is deadly. Oh, man, thanks for these other little Eidolons. Uh, imagine taking it. greater Eidolons. Nicely done. Black hole for one. Black hole at the early stages of the game is one of the more time-consuming ultimates, as in, uh, in terms of cooldown, but I think it's like 240 seconds. Don't quote me on this one. This one is a totally non-serious commentary. Uh... Just because I really can't work at this point um, on other things, so I'm just going to decide to do it. Reptile is going to be used to get a, a few last hits. Oh, looks like in here, Queen of Pain wants some revenge. There's the Malefice, but he's so slow, he will definitely go down, especially with that haste rune. He will, in fact, go down to the poison at the end from the Shadow Strike. Here it goes. I believe there should be a small bit of an engage right here. No cold feet, actually. Very surprising. I don't think I've seen... Enchantment should put a cold feet, but it looks like the Scourge are the ones to initiate. There's a split earth, but Tombstone's already gone down. Omni Slash for one, managing to get the kill. Nicely done. There's the Blade Fury. So much damage on the Chun. Oh, Chun, no. But Ancient Apparition looks like you're going to be going down next, taking all that Diabolic Edict damage. Going to dodge the split earth. Don't think that was intentional. The Shrek. Oh, it's actually going to go down thanks to the Decay. Good job on dying. Cold feet finally going to be placed onto the Yonero. Uh, he's just going to get out of it just in time. Three to three currently. Uh, keep in mind who died though. That's well, your narrow survived, so I guess that's something. And Darkseer did die. He is a very, very important fellow. But so is everybody. Dragonite didn't. Dragonite hits hard, so I'm gonna go with. At the moment, the Scourge have the advantage, despite it being completely equal. Certainly, in terms of trading kills, if you have the better early game, it's not bad. Especially when you can get those key people up in terms of levels. I don't believe they really wanted Yonero. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they obviously devoting more farm towards the Yonero. Uh, but I believe you would actually prefer to have a Lishrak for this sort of game that they're trying to play. The metagame is going to be going for a Vanguard. Which is a nice choice, give him a little bit of survivability. He definitely intends to be jumping in a lot more than uh, we see 
I mean, well, considering this early on, he has level 7 or 8. It's only 7 minutes, and a lot of these guys are level 8. Now, they already have their ultimates near the bottom lane. Well, that's expected if you get your solo, and you're already at level 8. You're narrow, what are you? You're level 7. Jeez, son, these guys are leveling fast. I mean, it's almost as if the Unero had a solo lane, so I really like the way they're playing this. You know, two in the jungle. This guy wasn't really taking the AXP. As a result, Tormentor Soul is a little bit behind in terms of levels. He's level four, but not so much, not so far behind of the Ancient Apparition or the Dirge. So, and those guys were sitting in the lane, and it, as a result, it means this guy is only level four. So, you know, that's... I do like that. And it looks like there will be a go made on the Darks here. Oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. You are just... Lucky, very very nice map of one. It's just gonna get back ion shelf himself up. Let's check out what he's gonna go for. Vanguard as well. Very very cost effective item. Looks like there's a bit of a wrap around. I want to say tombstone dropped within the tower range. Not such a great idea. Bottom lane, there it is. The go dragon tail as well as the malefic. Oh, so much damage. Vacuum. Oh, he's gonna save his life. He's gonna be going backwards. He's taking poison damage. No, he should be just fine. Actually, gonna get out of there. Unless you want a black hole for one again. And I have a feeling they do want to avoid that. Here, here's the the small bit of a go, thanks to Chud. More to, more of a fail gank than anything else, and they are going to lose a bit of his creep army, which do not get it wrong. That is a very, very big victory for the Sentinel this early on in the game. However, they had to leave the lane a little bit for it. And let's just check out how much farm this Unero has. Let's just check out how much farm and levels everybody has. Currently 8, 6, 5, 8, 5 against 5, 5, 7, 8, 8. A slight level advantage, I feel, for the Sentinel, but it's not big. And certainly you could make the case that, you know, the Scourge are actually up ahead. And I, I would agree with you wholeheartedly. A lot of Soul Rings going to be picked up. So it makes me think they're going to be very, very spell-heavy sort of plays. Naga Siren has gotten a Soul Ring. That is a little bit unusual. Oh my goodness. Looks like these guys, what do they want to do? What do they want to do? And does your narrow sense it? Does you narrow sense it? Oh, where's the blink forward for initiation? Where is the cold feet? Oh, just gonna blade here and get out. Not gonna happen. Of course, you can trap a hero with the nets inside that blade fury, but um, he will still be spinning. So, for what that's worth. Uh, near the bottom lane, we've got a bit of an engage coming in. Right click's gonna be going off against the Enigma. Gonna be taking quite a bit of damage, but he is sitting at level 9. He does suffer some mana problems early on, and it's actually gonna be the Sentinel which are pushing first. Do not think that they'll be able to get away with this unscathed. They are gonna lose at least one if the Scourge decide to defend. Here it goes with a split earth on Naga Siren, not dodge, teleports in. Where's the damage coming off? Black hole onto one! Uh, not so much. Sonic, uh, sorry, Sonic Wave is gonna be going off. Chun is gonna be running back from that Queen of Pain. Looks like Yunero's trying to get some damage off. Oh, does Naga Siren sleep? Nicely done, gonna keep everybody down. Oh, here comes Yunero with the Omni Slash, not even able to get an Ancient Apparition, though Chun's Hand of God not able to save his own life. And there it goes, the net. And the Dragon Knight has come in. One more right click. Get the Naga Siren. Soul Rip's gonna save her life. A few more right clicks. One more. There she goes. Naga Siren's gonna go down. Dragon Knight is just tanking everything. Now they want to make a go on the Queen of Pain. Not gonna get him. Gonna change focus to the Ancient Apparition, I wanna say. Dragon Tail is gonna go on the Undying instead. Oh, gonna actually take his life. There's gotta be a split Earth, surely. Yo, just a few more right clicks. Split Earth, unfortunately did miss uh currently six to five but tower was taken by the sentinel look at that dark seer that go though he is going to be a one-man pushing army and he will be very very annoying dark seer one of the few heroes able to do that early on uh with other heroes such as axe uh who can just take the creep wave and just you know keep pushing it so in a sense very very pushing orientated i want to say uh but of course i can't really make a judgment on like the entire Regions playstyle just based on one game I've seen. Uh, we're gonna be seeing some eidolons gonna be made. BKB gonna be the next item of choice on the Enigma. He's gotten the Soul Ring in for his mana. Enigma does, of course, as I keep saying, suffer from mana problems. Can't really cast all of his spells at once. Uh, is he gonna go for mana boots? Perhaps, perhaps not. Wouldn't be a bad choice. Uh, it would definitely solve all mana issues. And we're just gonna be seeing uh, these two gonna be fighting it off together. Yunero still not able. Not at his Vanguard. Let's just check out his gold. He actually can get it any time. Is he going to save for something bigger? Here comes a gank party from the Shrek as well as the Chun, but instead they're just going to stand by. Nope, they're waiting for the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight with an Invis room can come in with a free stun, uh, Dragon Tail, and then you can follow it up, of course, with a Chun Centaur Hoof Stomp. There it goes. You are, you are dead. Boom. Split Earth, Split Earth, Split Earth, where is it? Where is the, there was a test of fate, Time Ball eating. Okay, no, I guess you didn't want to use that spell. Uh, instead, imagine give themselves a free kill on the carry. Keep in mind, it's the carry. 
that's pretty huge but they are going to lose yet another tower and that is a lot of extra gold more importantly i think map control here uh but is it that important that the set as i said the scourge can push very very fast so they'll certainly be looking to take these towers in as revenge it looks like dirge is going to be going for the urn of shadows a great strength item and it looks like Ancient Apparition going for a standard fare of the Mechanism. It's been a while since we've seen Ancient Apparition get enough farm to actually get a Mechanism, but... So it's, it's pretty cool. And very, very offensive creeps with the uh, Ursa Warrior as well as the Centaur can be picked up for the Chun. It's going to be going a uh, ganking as opposed to up pushing, but, you know, these guys are also pretty good for pushing. Uh, they're fairly tanky. Mana Boots were picked up on the Holy Knight. And it makes me think that they are going to be pushing down here. In this particular lane, nobody's gotten the Ring of Basilius, which is very, very unusual. I really did expect at least one person to get it. Tormented Soul not farming so well. Hand of God actually going to be used prematurely. Why? Because down here in the bottom, Dragonite is making a go and is going to be taking out that uh, Darkseer. Very, very nicely done. Meanwhile, the Song of the Siren is going to be going everybody. There is the Tombstone. What is going to be happening? Ancient Apparition Ice Blast next. Come on, what is going on? Blade Fury, Soul Rip, oh, the Shred will fall! Freaking put any of his spells. Chun is looking so low, so dangerous, gonna die, actually. Oh, nicely done. Here's the net onto the Unero, taking all that damage. Chun sent, uh, sorry, Chun's creeps are trying to do anything, but completely, completely fails to do, it. and yep, we'll be going down now. The creeps are gonna fall as well. So a nice comeback for the Sentinel. Playing it very, very well. That huge counter gank did not actually think it would be successful. They gave a lot of time for the uh, Scourge to try and figure something out. Unfortunately, uh, Dragonite was way too far away. And Queen of Pain wasn't an engage either. It looks like she's going for an Agonims. Good extra damage and it's an AoE spell. So the Sentinel doing a great job making sure they haven't lost any towers and being very, very offensive with the uh, Song of the Siren. And keep in mind, we have yet to see... Naga Siren and Darkseer in the same room at the same time. I don't feel they have a quite as much follow-up, but they can definitely move them around. Uh, vacuum is one of the few skills that will allow, allow you to move heroes within... You know. Gosh darn it, what's that called? With it, while they're invulnerable, aka asleep. Uh, and what are we going to be seeing here? Okay, no, just checking it out. Looks like he's going to go for a Hood of Defiance next, the Darkseer, uh, I mean. And this is so very, very hard to look at because looks like there's a Django going to be picked up on the Dragonite, which is great. It gives you some nice aura for pushing. It does give him some extra mobility. It looks like up top. Nope, sorry, apologies. Just trying to make sure I do not miss any kills. This is a very, very aggressive game, and it looks like the Sentinel, once again, want to make another push. Naga Siren, what, what are you going for? In terms of items, she's going to go for a Vanguard as well. Let's pick up the Soul Ring. Hmm. Really did expect her to be farming slightly better. Let's just check that out. Nog Siren sitting at about 68. Oh, and here goes Big Engage going on towards the middle. Tombstone has gone off. There's the Ancient Apparition's Ice Blast. Sonic Wave going to bring him down so low, but Chun is going to send Dragon Knight back before he shatters. And it looks like Queen of Pain will be going down. Dadlock is doing a ton of damage. Oh, you're narrow coming in. He wants this. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go back. Not enough, Chase, and does not want to get baited out, which is fair enough. Enigma has come in, though, and he definitely is looking for the black hole like of his life. What is he sitting at in terms of levels? It does go down by like 100 seconds or something every single level uh, in terms of black hole. So he's looking at a level 2 black hole. Respectable, respectable. Is it enough to stop this push? Perhaps the Archonist has come in. He's looking for a Dragon Tail. There it is. He's going to be making a ton of damage, but Cold Feet will definitely proc. Is it going to proc? Sort of, maybe. Oh, it does not. He managed to get out of range just in time. But he has to take a lot of damage to do so. He's going to be okay. A okay. In fact, these two supports managed to hold off the entire crew blade. Them sorry, the, all the other heroes themselves. Very nicely played. Up top, looks like there's going to be a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one engage. Uh, Nagasaren decides, don't really want to do that, actually. You can go fight yourself. And looks like the very, very offensive vacuum in. Is there going to be a follow-up? No, unfortunately not. Surge going to get away. A little bit afraid, I think, of a Dragon Knight or somebody else popping in. Very, very defensive items on the darks here. I just want to comment on that. Uh, he will. Be, yes, he does have his Hooded Defiance. He's going to go for Pipe next. And once again, you. I don't believe that's the best choice. That surely cannot be the best choice to use Blade Fury like that. But I'm, and again, I am not a pro. And my narrow does suck a little bit. Tombstone has been dropped. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's any kills going to be made. Flesh Golem Ultimate has been popped. Looks like Dragon Knight is going to be hit by the Cold Feet. Yes, he will be hit. The Hand of God has already gone off. Soul Rip as well. Used eventually, but going to get sent home by Chun. Nice job. And yeah, they are going to take another tower. The Sentinel, uh, not 
the team I expected to do the pushing are actually doing the pushing. And it seems that even though they had to have a creep army consisting of a Furbolg, a Satyr, as well as a Centaur Warchief, this, they're just not able to get the push. Creep Wave is just dying way too fast. Keep in mind the, the hard carry, so-called the Naga Siren, and she's not really a hard carry, isn't really here. Uh, the, it's two supports and the Queen of Pain fighting it off against Dragon Knight. Something I did not expect to see. They're pushing against a, a Lashrak. It's quite cool. And they are still ahead in terms of kills. 11 to 8. Ahead in terms of gold. Let's just check out. And, yep, sorry. Level 12 on the Enigma. Let's just check out the levels. We haven't seen an Enigma game in forever. I do, do so want to see some good black holes. 11 to 9 to 9 to 12 to 8. Against 8 to 8 to 11, 12. 12, definite level advantage for the Sentinel. And look at the map control, just, they're the ones who've taken all the exterior tier 1 towers, it's slowly but surely they're making a push, but keep in mind the Sentinel Surge, of course, do have that better pushing light up. Anytime they decide to, you know, bunch together and push down. Actually, just thinking about it, that in Song of the Siren really does stop any, any push. If anybody wants to come in, you're going to have to push with the Juggernaut, or get a BKB. Here it goes. Looks like a small bit of a go, just the rip type, going to be made. Lower his armor. For harass and all of that uh dragon knight not farming so well but he will be going for the bkb in which case probably feel he will be going to push uh i can't really make that judgment call because he hasn't really done that so far i'm not sure if he's waiting for a specific item he has farmed a considerable amount um which is not completely unusual haste rune has been picked up in the queen of pain she's gonna be doing some harass uh dragon knight of course is very very powerful like him he will be upping that uh dragon form to level two uh, just to cl help clear the creep, creep wave a little bit better. Uh, sometimes it's better to go, uh, let's just keep it at level 1 because you want to push the towers down a little bit faster. And here it goes. Sentinel are going to make their third push. Coming up to the top lane, Decay, just for a bit of harass. The Scourge, unfortunately, forced to stay back. Tombstone is just an absolute menace this early on. Doing a ton of damage. And are they going to actually make a go in? Dragon Knight is here. What's going to be going on? Solar is going to be going on to that one, one hero and look, just to try onto the tombstone, trying to save it up. And now that the tombstone has dropped, they are forced to move back. Dragon Tail is going to be going on to the Naga Siren. Where's the follow up damage? Ancient Apparition's Ice Blast. But they are going to manage to get at least an undying for that. Oh, he's going to Soul Rip. No, just going to be okay. Looks like Ancient Apparition taking a lot of damage. Naga Siren actually going to go down to the Omni Slash. Very, very lucky slashes there. Dragon Tail going to be going on Queen of Pain. She should be as good as dead. No! Very nice. Mechanism heal. Does she have the Mechanism? No, undying. Dying dead, surely. Not so sure, actually, what happened or where she got her heal from. And it looks like Chen's trying to go chase, but of course, with that blink, it's way, way gone. Was he undying or dying? Wasn't still alive in that engage? Oh, I feel so bad because this cast is really, really subpar. Apologies for that. Anyway, mid tower has was taken down by the Dragon Knight before that. Queen of Pain looking very, very low. I wonder how far she is. She's sitting at level 11, so that's a level 2 ultimate. How far she is from getting her Agonims. Only 370 gold. She either has some components, I feel, and she's just waiting for them locked up, perhaps on a career. Yes, uh, I believe it, it was on a career. Yeah, she has picked up two. She's about another thousand gold away, or 600, 600 gold. Uh, Pipe of Insight is also on that. Picked up on the drag, so the dark seer. Apologies, and I'm gonna return the game. Ah, <sighs> man, things aren't going so well. Let's see, dark seer invisibility. Can he actually get a solo kill on Enigma? It's hard to say. I mean, especially since this Enigma is willing to use uh, his thing for one, his black hole for one. Malphys, no, no go. Actually, going to be made onto the Darks here, which I'm, I was a little bit surprised at. Uh, Enigma was playing it very, very aggressive before. Giving the Enigma a solo lane is something that very, very few teams are willing to do because uh, he's squishy. It looks like the mouth is going to be going on a few more right clicks. Dragon Tail to follow up. Yeah, Dark Seer. He does have Surge, keep in mind, so you do have to keep him perfectly chained on there. It is Ancient Adversion. Ice Blast going to be coming in. I'm trying to try and do something, but that's, of course, not exactly the most killer spell. Undying going to come in. He wants some solo kills here. Looks like Dragon Knight's taking forever amounts of harass, but not enough. Soul Rip being used very, very offensively, if I might say. There's a go going to be made, but blink out immediately. Chun is looking so very, very low. And meanwhile, Naga Siren at the top continues to push the lane. Continues to keep the cre creep equilibrium very, very, very standard. Unfortunately, on Omni Slash for one, manages to break, bring down that Queen of Pain. Uh, so I feel the playing style is not so much big team fights, which of course does not favor the Scourge. Scourge, of course, having such great um, spells such as the Black Hole. Uh, 
But then again, you know, Naga Siren does have her Song of Siren. So in terms of team fight potential, I think both are quite even. But uh, we have seen this team spread out. I don't think we've ever seen a 5-on-5 five five engage or even a 5-on-4 engage, which is pretty good. I was just talking about the Enigma before. Not very many heroes are... Uh, my Skype, apologies. Are willing to give um, the Enigma a solo lane. And when they do... What you do is you do tend to create a very, very fast level enigma. I mean, that's true of any any hero, but what does that mean? It means you can push the lane really, really fast with those Eidolons, which are some of the tankiest summons you can get in the game. It means you do get that uh, very, very fast, relatively fast cooldown on the Black Hole, and he's opting to go for the uh, Black King Bar instead of the Mechanism. I think Mechanism is going to be picked up by the Chun instead. No, he has, still has no components for that. The Shrek? No. Uh, but I do feel that maybe somebody else could hold that instead. Uh, get some mana boots uh, on the Enigma so he can solve his mana problems and he so can be a bit more aggressive, a bit more offensive. At the moment, the Enigma is sitting back though and he is just taking a lot of farm, which I feel you can't do. I mean, you did get the solo lane, so you have to sort of capitalize on that early levels on what what that does provide to you, um, if that makes any sense. Anyway, we're going to be seeing some jungling from both sides. Everybody really wants to farm. The score is currently 12 is to 12. It's a very, very crucial point in the game. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to Sentinel know if they can win team fights. Uh, at the same time, the Scourge, do they just really want to farm. They just want to get their items. Uh, from what I've seen, they're really, really item oriented. Looks like it's going to be a Battle Fury picked up on the Yernero. A, a player's forces are going to attack under siege. Anyway, it's going to be a big go. What is this level of this Dragon Knight? I thought I saw 15. Oh my goodness. Dragon Knight about to hit level 16, in which case he'll have that level 3 ultimate if he decides to go for it. Um, and there's no reason why you wouldn't. And that is going to give him tremendous team fight potential. Going to make me think, what will the Sentinel have to do in return? Uh, they will definitely have to adapt to it. I mean, having a level 3 Dragonite, it, uh, sorry, level 3 ultimate on that Dragonite is like having a completely new hero and it's a completely new hero to fight against. Much like, um, as, like if Enigma gets level 6, it's a completely new hero to fight against. Will they be able to do the same old strategies? I feel they need some sort of follow-up damage for the Darkseer Naga Siren combo. Like, at least, like, an epicenter from a Sand King or something. Somebody with some big amounts of damage. I don't feel anybody really provides that. Yeah, well, the Undying with the Tombstone is really, really strong, but it does wear down after a while. I'm not saying it's worn down already. Uh, it's still 25 minutes in, and, you know, you've always got... I just want to check out the levels a little bit quickly. Yeah, okay, this is the thing I'm going to have to little talk a little bit about. The level distribution, 12, 11, 12, 15, 10 against 11, 9, 15, 15, 15. We're going to see that the Scourge are definitely having a level advantage here. And not only that, uh, they're not as well, I mean, it's not as well distributed. Uh, you're looking 12, 11, 12, 15, 10. Everybody pretty much at the same level on the Scourge side. Nobody's really missing out, and as I say that, there's going to be a big go made. A lot of smoke is being popped. Starks here going to be found first. Where's the Split Earth? Where's the Split Earth? Saving it. Net is going to be going on the Enigma. Where's the Black Hole? Where's the Black Hole? Saving it once again. Song of the Siren's going to be going up. Oh, where's there's a vacuum in on everybody to the Wall of Illusion. Each and Aperture Ice Blast is going to be dropped. Sonic Wave as well. There's the follow-up damage. I'm talking about Black Hole on everybody. Dragon Knight is trying his best to do some follow-up damage, but unfortunately, duration is not enough. He can't even focus down on Dirge. He's taking all that damage right to the Face. Where's the soul rip? Where's the soul rip for one? Cold Feet is going to go on, and there's a the soul rip. He will be going down. Oh, a team wipe. Big team fight. Just one big team wipe. And they're going to transition to a tower push. I don't think I've seen Naga Siren pop the illusion yet. There it goes. Oh, man. That was satisfying. That was sincerely, sincerely satisfying. And look at the way they're teleporting back. Not wanting to give up any towers they don't have to. A lot of teams would just say, you know what? The tower will defend it. And the tower will defend it. It won't fall down. But we're going to get this tower anyway. We have no plans to go to the high ground. Let's not let it take any unnecessary harass. Let's, I mean, it may only be five seconds that it buys you in the late game. Like an extra five seconds, it takes the opposing team to mow it down once to get all their skills up. But it's five seconds we could use. I mean, you can have a hero respawn in that five second time period. Anyway, Yonero is going to be wanting to get, he's already got his battle fury. So he, the heroes are starting to get really, really fat. Make no mistake, that was a nice, nice play. Uh, when I was talking about the follow-up, Queen of Pain, there's her follow-up. I mean, it's, just set it up so everybody is in there. I mean, I've f completely forgotten that her AoE ultimate, her ultimate is an AoE. And it is like pretty much a finger of death in everybody's face. And plus uh, plus the Aghanim Scepter, it does increase the damage by a considerable amount. Like an, I think an extra 200 damage. And if you can catch everybody in your ultimate, that is an ultimate well spent. A uh, big black hole came in from the Enigma, unfortunately. There was no follow-up damage. It wasn't big enough. So I feel that the Enigma 
needs to be more aggressive, uh, needs to be able to pop it off before that ultimate happens, before that wombo combo, and we're going to be seeing uh, Ghost Scepter picked up. It's not the worst thing in the world uh, for the Enigma, and it's actually a very, very good thing. Uh, the plus 7 stats, I do like stats, but also that Ethereal form is just so standard for any heroes, uh, just to defend against the right clicks. I'm expecting, I was actually expecting the Sentinel to pick up a few, because this guy, this guy here hits so hard, and his ultimate, his ultimate, guess what, it is physical damage. Um, that means it can't be blocked by magical immunity. Uh, if you want to try and BKB it, you're going to take it all in the face. But if you go Scepter and you're the only one around, his ultimate is just wasted. It's just cut. And you guys probably know that. If you don't, that's a tip. So make sure if you're this guy, get... Oh, Ancient Apparition has the mech. And if you're this guy, make sure you get a Ghost Scepter. And he's already a level 11. Nicely done. These are key heroes. And a Veil of Discord. Not very many teams want to get the Veil of Discord, but they are looking... Well, well for, for a few reasons. First of all, it's, it's a fairly expensive item. Do you really want it in terms of other things? You must have a lot of magical damage. But they're saying, you know, we have the Wombo combo. We can put that Veil of Discord on everybody. And then Queen of Pain hits them in the face. It pretty much removes, like, if you want all magic resistance. Because it does an extra, like, 25%. Natural magic resistance on every hero is 25%. So when it says you're taking 900 damage, you're taking 900 damage. That is a lot. Like, let's look at heroes. Tormentous Hole, you're dead. You have no extra health. You're narrow. You pretty much only have 500 health left. Come on, that's that's one scream of pain. You're like two screams of pain away. Like, Dragonite is probably the only one who can really tank it. Like, Enigma as well. She's so low. Pretty much none of them, if, if you'll notice, actually have the mech. Except Chen should have a Hand of God, right? Yes, Chen has a Hand of God. No, he does have the mech. He has picked up a mech. So then, really does help in terms of that. Uh, saving them from the Wombo combo. Definitely what they need to do. But... If they get hit by the Wombo combo, make no mistake, it's pretty deadly. Unless Chen has, like, the fingers of it. Yeah, he, he'll die first. He'll just die. Seriously, they're just going to focus the Chen. They don't want him to do his hand of God. Focus the Chen, and everything should be alright. As I said that, it is still definitely a very, very hard slog, and there is no telling who will win. There is no telling if they'll be able to get off that Wombo combo again. If they do, is it going to be as successful? Keep in mind, it does have, like, a damage limit. Those zombies are going to be doing something. As the heals come in from the, the Chun, you know, he's going to hit uh, Hand of God very, very soon. If he wants, he can get a mech, in which case he can just heal, like, every, like, two seconds or something. I think it's every 30 seconds with the with the uh, Agonims. I don't feel he's going to go for it, but I'm saying it's always a possibility. In which case, their Wombo Combo is slightly uh, distracted a little bit. Song Siren, I feel it. There it is. There it is. Wombo Combo. Come on, Wombo Combo. Wombo Combo. Oh, Vacuum in. Unfortunately, going to miss the jar. Right, there it goes, Ancient Apparition, oh, Black Hole, everybody, Black Hole, and then since Nova's doing so much damage, look at the flesh got him to just fall, he's absolutely just taking it, this is not going the Sentinel's way at all, thanks to a clutch Black Hole, another vacuum in again, Omni Slash is going to be going off, one died, is that it? Queen of Pain is trying to do as much damage as possible, but she, all she has is a few Scream of Pain, she did go Ethereal right there, and looks like Ancient Apparition, fortunately. It's just going to get out. Nova's going to be going off. He wants to try and do something. Ancient Apparition is just, unfortunately, a little bit too squishy. So that went the complete other way. I mean, of course, I completely forgot about the Flesh Golem and what he does. Lishrak! Oh, he's going to be running away. Did not even see him in the midst of all that. Um, what was I talking about? Ancient, sorry. Um, yeah, with the Ancient Apparition's Ice Blast, you have that Shatter effect. With the Flesh Golem, of course, you do have that increase. Who has the Radiance? Naga Siren has a Radiance at this point. Sorry, I did not check the farm. Dragonite's gonna go down. No Wombo combo necessary. Gonna get themselves, gonna secure themselves a nice victory kill. Uh, whatever that means. Victory kills. I'm trying to create new phrases for my whatever. But it's gonna help with the push an insane amount. I forgot completely about the Flesh Golem. That's a lot of extra um, damage gonna be going off right then and there. Unfortunately, I think the sleep was still on when the uh, when the Sonic Wave mowed through. I'm gonna have to watch that on instant replay to find out. But it didn't look like anybody took any damage from it, which was a tremendous shame. Uh, Ancient Apparition Ice Blast, of course, gonna prevent all healing. I completely forgot about that. So you know what that stuff I was talking about earlier? When I said the mech or the hell of God. Forget about that. That's stupid stuff. I don't know who said that. That that was some 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 guy. Don't listen to him. But yeah, this is the most wombo combo is game I've ever seen. Like, it's one of them. It's pretty darn good. They give up the Naga Siren and the Dark Seer. But, of course, they had to give up a lot of pushing heroes like Chud. Uh, they had to give up... Uh, Hand of God. Sorry, the Enigma. In fact, this is almost like the uh, like the LGD against Navi game. It's almost the exact same lineup. I remember Light of Heaven being on a on a Enigma. I remember somebody... I think Havos was playing a... 
a juggernaut. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it was a game. I think one of the semifinals from the, the International 2. And I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Wombo combo again. Where is it? Where's the Wombo combo? But I think everybody's ultimate still on cooldown. Uh, keep in mind, Radiance, though, is a fantastic pushing item. And that 40 damage a second, not to be underestimated at this point in the game. Woohoo! And it's going to give her just as much form as she wants. Nobody's. Oh, sorry, teleport was cancelled. Uh, in which case, she's going to be going for her big items next. Whatever they may be. Diffusal Blade? Who knows? Looks like, yeah, Ghost Zipper was gotten. She's about to hit level 16, in which case she'll have her full ultimate. I believe it's 900 damage. I may or may not be sure. I'm, I'm not completely sure. Uh, keep in mind with this guy's Veil of Discord. Flesh Golem. No heal. And look at that. What? Did I see a Shiva's Guard? Is this guy tanky or what? That's one of the most expensive items in the game. And it looks like Smoke is going to be going in. Do the Sentinel actually have enough items? Like, I feel... The Scourge are really getting all the luxury items, really, at this point. Yeah, it's, and the Sent sorry, the Sentinel do know. I don't know who I want to win. Both teams are just playing it so well. I want both teams to win. That's possible. Dragon Knight's the only one without any really major, major items. I mean, we were seeing Yasha going to be picked up on the Unero. Oh, big fight! Big fight! Where's the song? Where's the song of the Siren? Where's the song of the Siren? Oh, song of the Siren! But where's... There's no that vacuum onto three at the very least. Unfortunately, gonna not get those two. And all of illusion, everything, and I've got no HR version ice blast because it was on cooldown. Big black hole, but it's gonna get canceled immediately. Everybody's taking Nova damage. They really want to bring down the Lashrag. Lashrag will be going down. Dark Seer, it's a little low, but he will just manage to escape. Unstoppable streak was gotten. Looks at those illusions doing all that damage. The Dragonite, he has no tank. He is gonna be going down. He will go down. Queen of Pain. Now she's on the prowl, but there's nobody alive except for this Unero here. He was trying to go for the Dark. Darkseer, but Darkseer so tanky. You're never gonna get away with a haste rune. And I believe, I believe that I don't know who's in the. I don't know. I don't know who's winning. The Sentinel are technically in the lead, but man, man, was that cool. And Queen of Pain gonna go, but she's magic immune, so don't don't even bother. And he has that heal. He had that healing ward up. So Wamba combo, but of course, no, I know, do know who's winning. Sentinel, of course, once they take this Roshan, a lot of extra gold for them. Keep in mind, they are up in terms of tower, now up in terms of kills as well, plus the item advantage. It is something, quite something to come back, come back from. Triple Bracer is going to be picked up on the Lashrak, just going to be trying to be as tanky as humanely possible. Roshan will finally be going down. Nag Siren will acquire the Aegis of the Immortal. So nice play is going to be coming in, but here goes i do not believe the scourge really want to take this do they do they do do you really want to be standing there gonna be blade fearing out but there's the net oh the there's the tombstone he's gonna be taking so much right click damage oh but he's actually gonna get out veil discord as well he's gonna be pop song screen pain sonic wave for one gonna get that with a nice uh shiva's guard for some right click soul rip oh nova's gonna be going off into the little shrek he's gonna be sent home immediately look at that look at that damage look at that damage they're gonna be pushing down this creep wave like it's nothing and at the end of the day, there it is. High ground has been breached. Damage is finally going to be going on for this tower. How much damage will it take before the Scourge can force it back? They still have three heroes that need to respawn. Fire Breath just going to come in. There's no initiation. They could Song of the Siren for one, I feel. And it wouldn't be a bad trade. Tower is going to go down. Veil Discord is going to be going off. Where is the vacuum? He wants to take on the Naga Siren. Naga Siren running away. Naga Siren Nova is going to be coming in. Soul Rip. Song of the Siren is going to be going off. And they're trying to catch. They just caught the Dragonite in there. And they want it. Song of the Siren for one. Going to get him in with a vacuum. Oh, the damage. Dragonite will be falling down yet again. And I believe this may or may not be GG. As, as is every other point of the game, it may or may not be GG. Technically, at the start of the game, it may or may not be GG. But right here, it's probably GG. I'm actually willing to call it. The advantage is huge. 10 kills, some big wombo combo plays. It was a little bit of a lackluster start, but once it came in, once it came in, I did not even expect this. I'm going to go right now. No, I'm not because uh, my team are probably not online. I was going to say I was going to try this lineup, uh, the Sentinel lineup, with the having the ancient apparition as well as the undying uh on dota 2 but unfortunately not online and i also have a lot of work to be getting on with so yeah maybe maybe not i also have to do this video but it is quite a lineup quite a lineup to try this is actually one of the reasons why i got into dota was to check out these really really cool lineups see what works what doesn't work uh, if you guys want to try any of these things from what you've seen i mean as i was talking about we can really draw some parallels from this and the international uh, the I think it was I think it was LGD against um, Navi game two of the, like one of the semifinal ones where they played. Don't quote me on that. Uh, 
that Navi managed a spectacular comeback just thanks to Light of Heaven's um, Enigma. Not everybody can be Light of Heaven, and it required a lot of follow-up as well on everybody's part. Not it was I mean, but Light Heaven Light of Heaven just set it up like so perfectly. He managed to catch everybody in the black hole. And they had a Rubik. Sorry, it was I can't remember. I can't even remember how the game went. Was he was Light of Heaven on the Enigma? I think he was, right? There was a Rubik there. Yeah, there was a Ravage. Rubik stole a Ravage. It was it was pretty cool. It's one of the best games I've ever seen in my entire life. You guys should check it out. You guys should check it out. Anyway, by this point, two racks is down. Is there anything the Sentinel the Scourge can do? Well, I, I do feel they have the better late game, but Heart of Tereske is about to be picked up on the Naga Siren. That is quite a steep, steep hill to be fighting against. Unfortunately, the Scourge, I don't feel they were being aggressive enough early game. I mean, they decided to get a ton of levels on the Enigma, which is great, but you didn't do anything with it. And in the end, the Wombo Combo is... It's, it's a Wombo Combo for a reason. Uh, Dragonite gonna be pushing out the bottom lane. How much gold does he have? Uh, not a lot. 1641. Not enough to do anything, and I believe one more Wombo combo should be the end of it. This tower will be going down incredibly, exceptionally fast. Oh, where's the, where's the, where's the go, where's the go, where's the go, Queen of Pain, there's the net, mechanisms drop, where's the hand of God, Silent Siren, on everybody, Naga Siren, oh, come on, come on, Veil Discord, where's the damage everywhere, Enigma is gonna be taking a big black hole, unfortunately, is that it, seriously, no follow-up damage, Dragonite trying to do his best to get at least one kill, oh, the Scourge are just melting, oh, unfortunately, Naga Siren not even managed to go down, it looks like the only one left alive is the Juggernaut, and he's taking every right click humanely possible, there it goes, in the end of the day, Wall of Illusion, way too much. GG has been called. Everybody's leaving the game. Oh, tower's going to be going down. Let's just check out the gold farm chart thing. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, I was not quick enough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Big Wombo Combo plays. Uh, this is the first of the new method that I'm trying out, so I'm no longer compressing files with Handbrake. Uh, if it does work, I'll be giving you guys more games because there are a lot of games. Hopefully, I'll be able to cast some with other casters from Dota Commentaries. If it doesn't work, be patient. I won't be bringing out as quite as many games as I like to. Uh, thank you very, very much, and I hope to see you guys again next time.